Welcome back to another episode of Sopnego. Please subscribe, support and enable the bell button too. Today we are going to describe about Mars. When we see Mars, it looks red. This beautiful reddish color was recognized by ancestors and they compared the red color to blood. At that time, the religion was very strong and powerful. And since Mars did look red and its red color was described as blood, the Romans named this planet after the ancient Roman god of war. We recently received data about Mars from Curiosity. I've done a video about this. If you wish to watch it, please click on this link above. Okay, coming back on our subject. This red planet Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in our solar system. It is a terrestrial planet like all of its fellow rocky inner planets. Even though Mars does have a thin atmosphere, its red, dusty, cold, desert-like surface is filled with breathtaking features like its great canyon, Valles Marineris, and its volcanoes, especially Olympus Mon, which is three times taller than Earth's Mount Everest, with a base the size of the state of New Mexico. Mars formed 4.5 billion years ago, in the early days of the solar system. It has a radius of approximately 3,390 kilometers and is 1.5 astronomical units away from the sun. And it takes about 13 minutes for sunlight to reach its surface. Its axis is tilted 25 degrees to its orbital plane. A Martian day takes about 24.6 hours and a Martian year about 687 Earth days. Mars is about half the size of Earth and like its fellow inner planets, it has a central core, a rocky mantle and a solid crust. Mars has a dense core at its center, between 1,500 to 2,100 kilometers in radius. It's made of iron, nickel and sulfur. Surrounding the core is a rocky mantle between 1,240 to 1,880 kilometers thick. And above that, a crust made of iron, magnesium, aluminium, calcium, and potassium. This crust is between 10 to 50 kilometers deep. Mars actually has more colors than just the reddish color we see. On its surface, we can see gold, brown, and tan. Tan is like a pale shade of brown. The reddish color seen on Mars is caused by the rusting of iron in the rocks, regolith, which is Martian soil and the dust of Mars. This dust gets kicked up into the atmosphere and when we look at it from a distance, it looks as if the planet is red. Its volcanoes, impact craters, crustal movements and atmospheric conditions such as dust storms have alerted the landscapes of Mars over many years. Its canyon system called Valles Marineris is long enough to stretch from California to New York, more than 4,800 kilometers. This Martian canyon is 320 kilometers at its widest and 7 kilometers at its deepest. That's about 10 times the size of Earth's Grand Canyon. There is water on Mars still today, but the Martian atmosphere is too thin for liquid water to exist on its surface for long. But it is found in the form of water ice just under the surface in the polar regions as well as in briny water which seasonally flows down some hillsides and crater walls. Mars has a thin atmosphere which is mostly made up of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and argon gas. This would make the sky look hazy and red because of all dust and its sparse atmosphere doesn't offer much protection from impacts such as meteorites, asteroids and comets. The temperature on Mars can be as high as 20 degrees Celsius and as low as minus 153 degrees Celsius. Because of its thin atmosphere, heat escapes easily. Occasionally, winds on Mars are strong enough to create dust storms that cover much of the planet. After such storms, 
the dust can take many months to settle. Mars has no global magnetic field today, but some of the areas of the Martian crust in the southern hemisphere are highly magnetized, giving us a trace of a magnetic field about 4 billion years ago. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, that may be captured asteroids. Phobos is slowly moving towards Mars and will crash into the planet or break apart in about 50 million years. Scientists don't expect to find living things on Mars, but actually they're looking for signs of life that existed on Mars about long ago when Mars was warmer and covered with liquid water. NASA launched several missions to Mars and the following spacecrafts are the ones that fulfilled their missions. Mariner 4, 28th November 1964. Mariner 6, 25th February 1969. Mariner 7, 27th March 1969. Mariner 9, 30th May 1971, Viking 1, 20th August 1975, Viking 2, 9th September 1975, Mars Global Survivor, 7th November 1996, Mars Pathfinder, 4th December 1996, Sojourner, 4th December 1996. Spirit, 10th June 2003. Opportunity, 8th July 2003. Phonics, 4th August 2007. Dawn, 27th September 2007. Marco, 5th May 2018. NASA is not the only one space agency that sent missions to Mars. The former USSR or Soviet Union also joined in the space missions to Mars. They also sent several missions that were successful. The following are the ones that were successful. Mars 2, 19th May 1971. Mars 3, 28th May 1971. The European Space Agency launched Rosetta on 2nd March 2004. NASA still has five operating spacecrafts on Mars. They are the following with their launch dates. Mars Odyssey, 7th April 2001. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, 12th August 2005. Curiosity, 26th November 2011. Maven, 18th November 2013. Insight, 5th May 2018. The European Space Agency also has a robot on Mars that is operating. The Mars Express launched on 2nd June 2003. The European Space Agency, this time with Russia, has a spacecraft operating on Mars named ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter was launched on 14th March 2016. The Indian Space Research Organization launched Mars Orbiter mission on 5th November 2013 that is still operating. Please like and share my video. Got to go. See you soon.